Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at order of operation problems with parentheses and brackets, or multiple sets of parentheses, and you'll sometimes hear these problems called nested parentheses problems, which just means parentheses within parentheses or brackets. So as you can see on your screen, we have number one and number two, and these are the problems we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's take a look at number one here, um, where we have a set of brackets and then parentheses within those brackets. So just like any order of operations problem, we're going to use the PEMDAS steps, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So whenever you see brackets, this is the same, uh, they hold the same value as parentheses. They are priority number one. So this problem has a set of brackets. So the first thing we're going to do is solve everything within those brackets. So it's almost like a separate problem. It's a problem within a problem. So we have three times 10 minus four in parentheses plus 10. So we need to go through our PEMDAS steps within those brackets. So do we have any parentheses? Yes, so that's what we do first. 10 minus four gives us six. And we can bring down everything we did not use yet, including those brackets. And we're just going to break this problem down one step at a time. So next within the brackets, we have three times six plus 10. So any more parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes. So that's what we're going to do next. Three times six is 18 and bring down everything we did not use, including the brackets again. Now we're left with just addition within those brackets, so that's what we need to do next. 18 plus 10 is 28. Now that we solved everything within the brackets and there are no operations left, the brackets are gone. And we can bring down our multiply by 12. And lastly, we have 28 times 12, which gives us an answer of 336. So these problems look big and intimidating at first, but if you just break them down one step at a time, um, they're really not too bad. So let's take a look at number two, where we have another set of brackets like number one, but here we have two sets of parentheses within the brackets. So let's start breaking this down. Remember, inside the brackets, this is almost like a separate problem. So we're going to worry about inside the brackets first, break that down, and then worry about outside. So here we have 13 plus seven in parentheses divided by five minus one in parentheses. So two sets of parentheses. So both priority uh, level number one here. So we need to go left to right. So 13 plus seven, gives us 20. Now we can bring down everything we didn't use and start to break this down further. And 35 divided by. So now we have 20 divided by five minus one. So parentheses come next. And bring down everything we did not use, including the brackets. The brackets will go away once we do all of the operations within them. So here we have 35 divided by brackets, 20 divided by four, end brackets plus 15. So again, those brackets hold the same value as parentheses, priority number one. So we need to do 20 divided by four, which gives us five. Now that will get rid of those brackets because we did all of the operations within them. 
bring down everything we did not use. Notice when I bring down everything uh, we did not use, everything stays in the same order, okay? So now we have 35 divided by five plus 15. So any parentheses, no. Exponents, no. Multiplication or division, yes. So that's our next priority. 35 divided by five is seven. Bring down our plus 15. And that's the last thing we need to do in order to wrap up this problem. So seven plus 15 is 22. So that's our solution to number two. All right, so there you have it. There's how we solve order of operations problems with uh, multiple sets of parentheses and brackets. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.